Alright, so as you can see, I did the thing. I'm bringing him eggs. My head now looks like these motherfuckers' backs. Oops, my bad. Fuck you, my popcorn head looks amazing. Perfect texture. The coloration is beautiful. How dare you. But so when you do that, uh, it allows you to then speak to him and he starts selling. I don't, I think he only sells the servant roster prior to you doing this. But then once you do it, you can buy poison mist and you can buy toxic mist. So uh, to actually do this, what you, I mean, you just, it's very simple. Let me go use this egg vermifuge real quick so that it's... So I stopped looking like a kernel of dumb popped all up in my head. Let me put my thief mask back on. All right. Um. So basically, the how you do this is that those little dude. I mean, the guys that are just like him that are roaming around. You get a bunch of them down here. You just go aggro one of them. Uh, I do it by using the. Oops, no, that's not the kick attack. Wow, this is how wonderfully responsive and great the controls are. That shit, Jesus. I just aggro them by using that, and then they have one of their attacks that they do see. This guy's still aggro to me. Uh, one of the attacks that they can potentially do is the uh, they do the, they grab onto you, like they grab onto your legs, and they open the little pod, whatever the hell you would call that, on their backs, and that ends up like a worm comes out, latches onto your face, aliens all over you. And uh, there's a potential for it basically to infect you. And once you're infected, you just have to wait for like 10 minutes or so, five minutes maybe. Uh, and then it will do that. And you can tell when it happens because it's not a 100% guaranteed chance whenever it does that attack. Um, I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna get counter hit while running because this dude's gonna spam. This guy's AI. I don't know if this is intentional or not. It's really frustrating if it is. But basically. Oh, wow. That was lucky. For some reason, he will only do that attack. That is the only attack he will do until you run back here. And, oh god. Until you run all the goddamn way back here. Approach the altar. And now that you've approached the altar and shit, now his AI should actually work properly. And he'll start doing other... See how he ripped his arm off right there like he did at the very beginning of the fight? So now, hopefully, he'll actually be uh, doing normal stars. My last gold pine present. I probably should have saved that. I probably should have saved that until such time as I actually, you know. Ooh, nope, he's still gonna keep doing that attack. That is a bummer. And I just completely missed, but I gotta heal. So the problem, if he does continue using only that attack, I find. Okay, good, he's not. I was gonna say though, because I find it extremely difficult to uh dude, come on. I find it extremely difficult to dodge said attack. It is not doing that much more damage. Oh shit. I don't know why I'm guarding. Yeah, Power Within is doing all the work here. Gold Pine Resin isn't doing shit for me. Where was the door? Uh, oh, I forgot to complete the talk. Um, so... You know when you're infected, like if you stand idle, it only takes a couple seconds of just standing completely idle. Your character will scratch their face. But their head basically and that's that's the way you know if you've been infected and once you get that animation once you see them scratch their face I think it also I'm not a hundred percent sure on this because I haven't done it enough and I don't care to find out but I'm fairly certain the controller also rumbles at the very end of the attack where normally it wouldn't but if you get infected it does rumble because that was one thing that I was kind of like this did happen the first time as well and right after that, I did, it was, a, I did end up having that, uh, I did end up getting infected right after that one. And it happened again this time. So, I would, I would put, I'm not 100% positive, but I would put my money on the fact that that is an indication that you just got successfully, uh, banged by that dude. So, yeah. Let's 
move on. Let's not talk about that shit anymore. Let's talk about getting blown the fuck up by giant centipede looking tentacle having fucking barbecued motherfucker over here. Alright, let's see if I can dodge that attack again. That'd be cool. Nope! Oh. Well! I guess I don't have much reason to be coming back here no more. So we're gonna leave. Because fuck getting one shot. It sucks so hard getting one shot. It's just, it's terrible. Especially, I just got one shot through a mountain. He just managed to phase his fucking limbs through a mountain to body me. That's what just happened. So, fuck that guy. I don't fight people that ignore the laws of physics. They're cheaters. <laughs> fucking leave. Damn it. I should have just, honestly, I should have just gone back and grabbed them and used a homeward bone and left. Because against a boss like, I mean, against a boss like that where you just, you just get one shot, it's not fun, it's not enjoyable. It's like, oh, you spent five minutes, you know, whittling away at this dude's health, handling everything perfectly. Now you missed a button press by one frame. And you died, and you have to start it all over again. That's not interesting game design. It's the same thing with a Defiled Dungeon. Like, that's why I hate the Defiled Dungeon. It's not difficult, but everything in there is so incredibly resistant to the damage you can do, and everything in there one-shots you. It's just dull. I guess it's wrong to say it's not difficult, because obviously it is difficult. But it's not the good kind of difficult. It's the frustrating kind of difficult. Like, you never want to engage in battles of attrition. Rather than, you know, like... Making intelligent decisions. And, you know, having to, uh... I don't, I don't really know how... To, I don't have to, like, kind of write it down beforehand to be able to properly... Uh, enunciate everything I want to talk about because I do know like I, I will put my foot in my mouth if I try to talk while I'm playing this game about something like that <laughs> but it's just you know that kind of that kind of design is just not fun it's kind of like it's that sort of thing where like you do it in order to say you've done it rather than like doing it because you want to Like, if I was not basically sitting there the entire time going, Man, I am so going to get this platinum trophy. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from getting it. I would have quit at the Defiled Dungeon in Bloodborne. Like, I would have just been gone. Fuck it. This isn't worth it. This is boring. They picked, like, the most, the worst bosses. Where basically, like, you have to, you're not fighting them to like actually try and you know fight them well fight them intelligently do smart things you're fighting them in order to manipulate their AI so that you just don't get hit because if you do like I said if you do get hit you're dead pure and simple there's no there's nothing like oh well you could have parried that attack or oh you should have dodged like half a second earlier. Like, yes, obviously, if you dodge everything perfectly, you will never get hit by everything. But you cannot be perfect for like 10 minutes straight. That's why like a lot of people kind of... Like, let's... I'm going to take a little bit of a... Uh, do a little fighting game discussion here. You see people talk about shit like, oh, that overhead is so slow. How do people ever get hit by that overhead? And the point of the matter is, is like, if all that that person is doing is that overhead, no, you're probably not going to get hit by it. But, when they're mixing up all other kinds of things in there, when you, like, if you just have to defend that one overhead, and that's that, that's all you have to do, you're probably going to block that overhead. No problem, right? But then, they throw a low in there, then they throw an overhead, then they just throw in, you know, normal pressure that's not a mix-up it's just you know you got to sit there and block it and hold it and enjoy and i'm gonna eat all of that i don't care that you're yelling i'm gonna use this opportunity to heal oh shit oh shit damn it these 
these dudes suck. That should give me bleed, it should kill him good. Motherfucker. Um But yeah, so it's it's looking at you, you know, when you look at something just in a vacuum. How did you ever get hit by that? It's so easy. But when you're worrying about, you know, looking for your own spots to attack, looking for, uh, you know, just paying attention to your environment, all kinds of just extraneous elements that exist there, you cannot go for extended periods of time without getting hit. You are going to get touched at some point in time. And so that's why, I hate, that's why, like, for instance, in Mass Effect... The, uh, wow, the frame rate died coming in here. The more difficult, um, like, bumping up the difficulty of the game, it doesn't improve AI, it doesn't make things more tactical, it just makes all the fights last longer. Like, three times as long or more, just depending upon everything. Now, granted, especially with Mass Effect 1, it was basically possible to make yourself invincible. Even on the hardest difficulty, it was possible to make yourself invincible. So it was kind of like... But th that was New Game Plus kind of a deal. So, I mean, playing on normal difficulty can get pretty unfair. Because, like, and get like the complete opposite of that is completely boring, too. To the point where you can just churn through everything without a single issue. And, you know, like, you're just pressing buttons and stuff dies. And you're not putting any thought behind it. You know, it's the, it's the two extremes to the situation. Um, and so obviously, finding that happy medium is necessary, and it's definitely, you know, when you have to make numerous boss fights in a game, you're not always going to find that happy medium. Plus, it's always a little difficult, too, because you can level up in this game. Like, if I wanted to... I could go out and I could level up to level like 200 and then come back and fight that guy. And it's not going to be anywhere near as difficult. I'm not going to be getting one shot anymore, that's for damn sure. <laughs> so it's very, you know, it's it's hard. It's very difficult in a game like this with all the different elements. What the fuck is that? With all the different elements to it to manage, to ma just to manage them and account for them. Ooh. No, you're supposed to be two-handing it. I don't know why I'm killing these guys. Because they dropped Titan. Oh, right. I was going to look. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Whatever the fuck that thing was. It's not there now. Yoink. And yoink. And yoink. Oh, he's not dead. He must have blocked. I didn't hear the blocking sound effect. I don't know if I was being too loud. Hello, messages. Messages everywhere. I have been invaded here a couple times, but always with a lower level. I mean, I know you have that whole thing about a uh, twinking. I didn't know what that meant until somewhat recently. Uh, for those of you that may also be like me and not know what the fuck it means. Basically, twinking is uh, when you intentionally keep yourself at a very low level, but you have godlike equipment, which it doesn't really... Uh, isn't really level appropriate. So, you know, like, people that would do, like, SL level 1 runs. SL level when SL stands for soul level. Fucking moron. Um, <laughs> what am I actually here for? I don't know what I'm here for. I don't know, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm doing things. Um, so people that do soul level 1 runs are basically twinkers at the, uh, just by definition, because they're powering up their weapons so that they don't have just level 1 weapons the entire goddamn time through the game, because that would be horrible. But there are some people that intentionally do that, where they'll play through the game at a very low level and upgrade their equipment to, like, a maximum stage, and then go and invade low-level people to basically get easy wins. Which, you know, that's how... That's how that is how competitiveness how did that dude not get hit by like those two went straight through this motherfucker's body straight through straight through this guy's phasing in and out of existence too like dark souls cheats everything how the fuck see he just phased his shit through the gosh darn freaking stair things whatever those are called 
bunch of dicks, man. But yeah, so I, I'm fairly certain I ran into one of those. Because, uh, I was... Now, granted, this was on my sorcerer run. And I just tried to beat him using only a weapon. I was using the S-Stock at that point in time, I believe. But so, like, when I hit him, I would do, like, a 20th of this dude's health. Which would kind of, sort of... Do I wanna? Do I wanna? I wanna. Which would kind of sort of suggest that this dude has some pretty godlike armor. As well as... Oh god. Oh god. Pretty godlike armor alongside a godlike weapon because he ended up one-shotting me. Die. Die. DIE! Damn, he didn't die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. He's gonna die. Bitch. Power within is so good. Alright, I'm gonna leave the other one. I'm gonna leave him alone. Because I don't feel like walking all the way over there. If only you could get the rusted iron ring before coming through here. But that- oh shit, you can. What am I talking about? You can. You can. I'm gonna go do that. I am going to go through the... Because I want to do it before I go to Ain Orlando anyway, because that gives me the painted doll. Is that what it's called? The painted doll? And then, once you get that, you can go to the painted world of Ariamis! And then that allows you to, uh, kill Priscilla. Which, unfortunately, I'm not- I, I'm not going to- I'm not going to use, because, uh... Actually, you know what? Now that I have this opportunity, I'm gonna look up that build that Zaccarado mentioned. He mentioned the build using the... Wow, I probably should have been hit by that. Oh no. Okay, I think having this dude locked on is probably a bad idea. That's definitely one thing that is... Oh shit, is that... No, never mind, that's not what I thought it was. They have this chance to do this attack where like they just they stomp the ground a few times rapidly in a row and they go fucking berserk. And uh, it hurts if you get hit by that. Chances are I might get one shot. But Zaccarado mentioned a build that I may want to look into now. Because and it used the Life Hunt Scythe, which obviously uses Priscilla's soul. Uh, and but the Life Hunt Scythe is a double-edged sword. It will like it has the highest not the highest, there are two weapons, both of them come from Priscilla. Which have a uh, 50% bleed output. Output? Build up? Build up, I suppose, would be the best term for that. Have 50% bleed uh, build up. But the Life Hunt Scythe is. It also delivers bleed to you, not at 50%, at 40% instead. So, using that weapon for, like, for PvP, I could definitely see the benefits of using that weapon. In PvE, where, like, you're not really hitting a ton of things with bleed, and, um, I, it seems like I would probably be hitting myself with bleed more often than I would be hitting anybody else. So that's why I didn't use the Life Hunt Scythe the first time around, but he mentioned a build, I think using, like, the Blood Steel Shield and maybe a Blood Ring or something like that. That would make sense, the Blood Ring to reduce, to reduce bleed buildup. And so I'm wondering if using, if stacking that basically actually makes the life hunt scythe more or less worthwhile to use and if it does i think i do i think i will want to look into that the one thing that would be truly unfortunate about it though is uh if it ends up being just like absolutely terrible don't estus blast what are you doing dog it's not fair when ai heals i'm the only one allowed to heal right that's how it works isn't that always infuriating and it's always obviously hypocritical as hell. <laughs> but when you see the AI do something that normally only you can do, you're like, hey, that's not fair! I'm the only one allowed to do that! Oh. I, guess, I suppose right now when I need to actually time something would not be the best time to get a drink. Yoink. Yoink. All right, so this is fun. You just gotta sit here like this for about 30 seconds, so once that thing pops off, we'll be back. 